Leichhardt Town Hall is sited on what was considered to be the highest point between the city of Sydney and the Blue Mountains when it was built. It's an outstanding example of Victorian architecture in suburban Sydney, and the opening of the Leichhardt Town Hall marked the coming of age of the area. The building, designed by architects Drake and Walcott, was completed in the centenary year of 1888. The official opening by Lord Carrington attracted 5,000 people and a public holiday was declared for all schools in the district. Did you know? In 2014, a collection of folios once belonging to Lord Carrington were received by the New South Wales State Archives, donated by descendants of the Carrington family. The folios contain exquisite hand-painted formal addresses which are over 120 years old. Lord Carrington was a highly influential Freemason. He was the first Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of New South Wales. The albums reflect this fact, as they are dotted with an abundance of Masonic iconography. In 1897, the 27 metre high clock tower was installed to mark Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. It has recently been meticulously restored externally and internally, including the cedar-lined council chamber and the large auditorium, which is used for community events, public meetings, and many migrants have received their citizenship here.